What's up? My name is Dora and welcome to my channel. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a couple weeks. Once I get something in my head, like jelly lotion, I have to formulate it or else I can't think about anything else until I do. So it's a very simple, quick, easy recipe. It works just like lotion, except for, you know, it's really cool because it's jelly. The jelly lotion works just like regular lotion. It feels great on skin and it also has sort of like a cooling effect. As the jelly melts on skin, it releases water. You can use any type of gelatin that you want. Add the gelatin to water while whisking so it doesn't clump. You can use a regular whisk. Use any type of butter that you want. The steric acid gives the lotion structure. The polysorbate 80 emulsifies the water and oil together. Gently heat the gelatin so it dissolves, but it's not supposed to bubble or boil. Now combine both mixtures together. Cool the mixture to under 100 degrees Fahrenheit and add the preservative. I also added mica because I'm making this for a friend, Nikki, and she loves to sparkle. Mix everything together well. Use a container with a lid. Anything with gelatin has to be in a closed container. If you leave it uncovered, it's going to dry out and shrivel up. Tap the container to release air bubbles and to level the mixture. Set the jello. Freeze it about 20 minutes, then allow it to become room temperature again. Use a powder spray bottle or bulb to dust the tops with mica. I made custom labels. For that tutorial, click the information icon. You can even try to make an actual like jelly bar um, I didn't perfect this type, but I'll give you what I have so far and maybe you, you can build on it. Um, this would actually be pretty cool. This is pretty neat, actually. The only issue I was having with this one is that it, um, when you rub it on your skin, it comes off like, see how it comes off like that, which is not a big deal because it rubs right in. So, but I don't know. I don't, this, the way it comes off didn't really... 
appeal to me. This is the same recipe, just different types of gelatin. And you're just gonna get a little bit like that. And it completely dissolves in skin. Sinks in just like a regular lotion would. We've had rain here in Louisiana for like the past week straight. Like it's been dark and gloomy. I'm gonna show you um, in a second. And I personally love it. Like I've always been that way since I was a kid. I can remember being in kindergarten and, and getting early dismissal because of the rain and just having like a really warm, happy, fuzzy feeling. I've only met one other person that feels that way. So I'm actually kind of curious. Does anybody else feel that way? I feel like I'm weird for feeling that way. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. It's gorgeous. I got, I'm covered in glitter. That was another thing I did this week was work on my Christmas tree. I'll show you that too, cause it is gorgeous. Classy. A hundred percent, wait till you see it. So this is my view. Um, it's right, it's trinkling. Trinkling, is that a word? I don't know. I just think it's so beautiful. I actually made a short tutorial showing how I made the ornaments and which items I used for decoration. For that tutorial, click the information icon. Okay, so my friend Jamie and I went shopping at Lakeside Mall in New Orleans and shopped at a boutique that was oddly enough named New Orleans something, I don't remember exactly. Anyway, everything was Christmas and everything was white and gold. I was so entranced and obsessed that I decided I had to have all white and gold too. So I bought a few things there, like the Marion Bright sign and the big gold tree, then went to TJ Maxx for the rest. For my actual tree, I redid all my old ornaments to match and ordered magnolias and berries off Amazon. So far, I am really loving it. Like, I think I'm gonna do my entire house in a similar style. I even bought gold and white wrapping paper so everything matches. So, what do you think?